Hey guys, okay, so got another product to look at today. Okay, so we got some uh, mini razor saw uh, supplied by the guys down at Hobby Rama down in Brisbane. Okay, so uh, retail down there is about 13 so it's 12.95. Okay, um, you actually see a lot of stuff that I actually buy from hobby shops, guys. It's and I get hammered all the time. It's like, why do I pay that much for tools or? You, when you can get it cheaper elsewhere online or and save a bit of money. Okay, that's all good and well, okay? it's Everyone's up for saving a bit of money here and there. But if you don't support the hobby shops, guys, especially um, down, like for me, down at Hobby Rama, where the service is always great, they're, they're, they're always happy to stand there and chat with you, especially modelling. I mean, Andrew, Casey down there, it's, it's always a pleasure going down to, to just hanging out down there. Uh, it's a shame they do live so far away. It's nearly like a two-hour drive for me to get there, but it is worth for me to go down there and just to pop in because it is such a great store. So a big shout-out to you, Andrew, and a big shout-out to you, Casey, for always looking after me down there and for giving me really friendly, awesome service, okay? So you don't support those guys. They shut down, and, you know, you, you don't get to go down there and and just hang out and look at all the cool stuff that is on the market. I mean, they're always constantly getting new things in store. Um, you don't really wait too long for the new kits to come out, especially here in Australia. So they're, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I'm going to say because I can't say enough good stuff about that place. The item number is 09909. Okay, if you are looking for it, there's a product number down the bottom. So if you do have to order online, you don't have access to a great store um, near you. Um, that's what you're looking for, okay? So it is a Trumpeter Master Tools um, mini razor saw, and like I said, the item number is 09909, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. On the back, we've got um, some instructions on the back, because there is no um, instruction inlay inside, as you can see. So the instructions are on the back. Um, assembling the blade, three different blades, and it just shows you... Um, the correct way to use the tool, okay, do's and don'ts, um, and just the safety notice on the bottom, like it just says the blades are extremely sharp, be careful and keep away from children, all right? So if you do want to pause the screen, um, be my guest and just have a read through the, um, the safety notices and the instructions and things like that and just have a quick look, all right? So we're going to actually open this up and have a look. So I'm just going to get my hobby knife and run it along the edge. And be very careful. Always try to keep your fingers and cut away from you. Never cut towards you if, if you're a young modeler or even if you're an old modeler. <laughs> you can always still cut yourself. All right, so it comes in a tray, which I might use like this and just put it back in the drawer like that. Actually, come in handy, which is why I cut it like this and not actually just rip it straight off the packet. And you can always put that away if you do sort of keep your instructions like that for later on. All right, so we're going to have a look. And we're going to tip all this out. Okay, nice glossy surface. That's the first thing you notice. And it does have a little hole in the back. So if you do have a pegboard on your modeling bench, um, you can just... Hang it up, okay, like that, and it does have a sort of a craft knife style um, release mechanism on there. Okay, so we're going to have a look, like instructions, because this is the first time I'm using this. All right, so, all right, so quick change outs. So we I think it's okay. Got to be careful and always grab it. Don't have the blade. The sharp, the, the serrated parts to your fingers. If you slip, you will cut yourself, guys. Okay, so, okay, nope. Mm-hmm. Okay, so got to be a way this goes in. Okay, 
and let's try something else. So obviously when you hold it, it's going to be like that. So find a way, obviously, which feels comfortable in your hand. And this has to go in somehow. Okay, for some reason, it doesn't go in that way. Okay, it seems to be easy. Okay, so slide this all the way back like that. And you can see the, there's a little little race, uh, a raised section there, like a locating pin, and then put that all the way in, and that's just carefully, gently, from what I'm discovering, is just slide it in there. Okay, so that locks, so the holes in the blade, okay, see that hole there? Okay, so she just goes in that, you can't miss it, guys, there's like a little raise. If I pull it back out again and I'll show you, there's like that little raised bit there. And then you put that in there, locks in there, and then that just pushes out and just keep going. Don't force it because eventually it just stops and then that little plastic sort of ends with the levels off there. Okay, so pretty much that's it. Okay, these blades are fairly sturdy. They're a lot sturdier than the PE ones that I have here. The PE one's actually quite um, soft. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab a sprue, some Svesda plastic. I'm just going to cut this off. And we're going to have a look. Okay, so really you should have vice and things like that. So, but I'm just going to carefully use this to cut through the sprue. I mean, you can. <laughs> You're probably saying, well, why don't you use clippers clean, but just for this demonstration, I'm just going to show you um, to cut through. And I'm not applying a lot of force. Like, don't force it, guys. If you try and force it and you snap, you're going to cut yourself. Just a bit of light pressure is enough to cut through the sprue and just let the teeth do the work. Okay, so, okay, so it didn't take too long. I mean, I could have just gotten some clippers and just gone, you know, Bang and being done with it, but I'm just showing you that um, if you are trying to get through, say the side of a uh, fuselage on an aircraft, or you're trying to modify something with with a bit of length to it, and you don't want it, you can't. There's just no way clippers are going to work because it's just yeah, it's too awkward. This is where saws come in, guys. So that's pretty much. Um, these, the blades themselves, okay, so obviously you got something a bit thicker, a bit sturdier. If you need, it doesn't really matter, like your general use. And then obviously they get finer if you've got like little small nooks and crannies you've got to get into just to get in there. And if you, you know, if you need to drill a bigger hole and just to get it started, you can cut it around and things like that. So I mean, guys, I think this is going to come in handy. Because um, I do use this a fair bit, but being PE, I just find them too big and chunky because you know they are PE and they are very soft so you know if you go too thin they just flex and everything like that and you can, they just become sort of you know they do become hard to use um but they you know, not saying these are bad these just I need something that's a little bit sort of um thinner and a little bit stronger for some of the applications I need especially if you're cutting armor up and that and like you know as you guys know armor can be sort of a bit of a pain in the butt sometimes when you're trying to modify things so guys, that is the Trumpeter Master Tools Mini Razor Saw set. Um, keep a look out for it. Um, if I do manage to find a link somewhere, um, I'll post it up. But for you guys that live in Brisbane area, Hobby Rama do sell these. Okay, so definitely drop in, pop in. Um, tell them that you've seen them on this channel and tell them I say g'day. So thanks for watching guys and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed. Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button if you like or dislike this video. Feel free to comment down below. Um, if you've got any questions ask me at all, feel free to do that as well because I do get notified on all the comments that pop up on my channel and I do try to answer, well I do answer them if, um, you know, if I do catch them in time. So have a great weekend guys. Um, stay safe, happy modelling, and I'll catch you next time. See ya. Bye-bye.